Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Here we are on the Limitless TCG page and one of the completed tournaments uh, with, you know, up here the latest uh, being um, Paradox Rift that's been updated, but actually um, it said there that the LAIC was the latest update, which is right here, but it's not. We actually have um, three tournaments, but we're going to cover the two that happened this past weekend, both in uh, Brisbane, uh, Australia, and Gdansk in Poland. So, pretty cool. And just also wanted to point out that uh, two brothers, Consta and Yuho, both from, I believe it's uh, Finland, yeah, Finland there, uh, had both, you know, won, uh, you know, tournaments this season guaranteeing them uh, a spot at uh, you know in the world championships which is pretty cool so never seen that before but nonetheless we're going to get into the uh, the two tournaments we're going to start off with Brisbane because that's the smaller one and we're going to go over the top eight decks right and here they are and they are as follows we got Gardevoir, two Snorlax Stall, followed by another Gardevoir, followed by Fusion Mew, followed by two Charizards, and then another Gardevoir. So it'll be pretty interesting to see, you know, how they, uh, you know, or what uh, was in their lists, uh, as well as, you know, possibly some of their matchups. So let's get into it. We're going to start with number eight, Gabriel Smart. The Gardevoir here. Alright, so there we are. We're kind of centered. So we got, uh, you know, the 3 and 1 split for Ralt. 3 and 1 split for Curlia, which is awesome. 2 Gardevoir EX and 2 Gardevoir Shining Arcana. That's pretty average. And then we got Screamtail, which is the Paradox Rift. Addition with that roaring scream there attack on the side that you can see 20 damage to one of your opponents Pokemon for each damage counter on this Pokemon It's great out at taking out things that just like to stay on the bench like for example Archeops right and the Lugia V star deck or you know Flaffy's a Maridon Etc, right? It's pretty cool Cresselia has been in a lot of decks already, right, with that, and it's there for that Moon Glow Reverse, which is pretty cool. Zacian V is another attacker in the deck. And then we got Luminion V, which is, you know, really cool. Search that supporter. Greninja, Mana v for the bench spread, and then Sableye, or pardon me, Josh, to stop Sableye. Um... But I'd say the most interesting thing in the list is two copies of Avery being played. And this card, I think, is a really good card right now because everything is playing high bench, right? Um, everything except, I think, probably Roaring Moon is playing high bench. So you're going to get a lot, of, um, a lot of value from this card, right? And it does also have the Collapse Stadium tech in here, which is, you know, great for yourself to get rid of your Luminion or a damaged, um, you know, V or EX like Gardevoir. Professor's Turo scenario is really cool, right? To be able to uh, reuse that Luminion V, right? Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, the search here, right? Pretty standard. Two rare candy, okay. Counter catcher, super odd. All the usual energy as well. That's a pretty good list. It's it's pretty uh, pretty normal. Nothing really out of the ordinary. So I really like it. Um, James Williams. So I'm not really too familiar with this deck, right? I'm not familiar with Snorlax Stall. It, um, the whole strategy is just to, uh, to bring something active, 
and then um, you know lock it there with uh, hand disruption with energy disruption and you know just make it so your opponent can't uh, really retreat or even attack so you want to do this on something that um, just caps out so like like a and has a high retreat cost so I'm not really too sure if uh, you know a one retreat is high enough you know I'm sure you, it'll probably work but you want to trap something with like two or two or three retreats so like a radiant Charizard is a good one to grab because it's got high retreat it can still kind of attack you but um, it'll need five energies on it and it'll ta have to be able to attack like every other turn stuff like that or like a Flaffy and Maridon right uh, your, if your opponent, you know, um, benches a Flaffy, right? If they don't, then they're playing smartly. Um, just stuff with, like, high retreat that you can just lock that typically can't attack, right? That's what this does. Um, I don't really know. This is not really my um, forte, so... I would say it looks pretty consistent. I've never really um, went into one of these, so yeah, we'll check out. Um, I think that was the same one. Yeah, it's basically. I think they played the same list, I believe, both uh, Samantha Turner and James Williams. So whatever. Calvin Connor with Gardevoir. Right. So another very, very similar list. Still got 19 and 12. Right. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good here. I can't tell. I think that they changed the uh, Fog Crystal and the Ultra Ball. I think that was the different count there. I think it was 4 Ultra Ball, 2 Fog Crystal. Let's just go back to Gabriel's here. Yeah, 4 Ultra Ball, 2 Fog Crystal. I think that was the only switch there. They got the Palpad, the Vacuum, and the 2 Super Rod. Palpad, the Vacuum, 2 Super... Yeah, that was the only change. It's just... Kelvin uh, played a third Fog Crystal and one less Ultra Ball. Otherwise, it's the same list. So, pretty good. Pretty cool. Looks really nice. Mew Genesec with Joshua Sparks. So, another really good card. This is Fusion Mew. Great deck here. Um, I personally, right now, I'm not a fan of it. I... I still think it's a great deck. I think it's a fantastic deck. I just prefer the uh, the double turbo version right now. Just because I don't want these, right? And I don't want these. I want to have it just as disruptive as possible right now. And I feel like if you play um, the Meletta and the Ice Q, then it's not really going to be doing that. Sure, they, you know... You know, you can argue like um, a spirit tomb, and then you know having that other single prize attacker in there, right? With Meloetta is good, but I don't really think you need it if you obviously set up fast enough with the double turbo version. So, Professor Turo scenario is really cool. Um, pretty much everything else is standard. The uh, Judge I know. They play only one of each, but this is not the double turbo version. It's not the disruptive version, so that's pretty acceptable. You know, you got the usual fours here, right? The Kremlin Medic, three or four, either or. Grabber, another disruption card. I don't really know if you need it in this version, but still pretty good. Nest Ball, Escape Rope, Switch Guard. Um, the vacuum as well, uh, you know, you only got one copy, which is really good because it's not really a path to the peak deck, right? 
If you're playing more Path of the Peaks, you need more vacuums, right? Plain and simple. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good list. Lost City is really nice. Um, especially against those Spiritomb and um, those Drapions, if you know they're still playing them. Pretty good list. Charizard by Hayden Matthews. All right, so just looking at this one, this is the Bibarel one, the Bibarel one, not the Pidgeot one. Now, to each their own, right? I think that uh, you know the Bibarel one can definitely work. Um, that just plays a little bit different, right? This one here has got a a lot of Colress's experiment, right? To do some more digging. It's still playing the the battle 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 uh, VIP pass. Pardon me, right? There's no Arvin in here, which is really odd, because the Arvin Zard is probably the better one. Still lots of search. Got Ultra Ball, Nest Ball as well. Um. You got your super rods, you got your switch cards, vengeful punch. That's probably the most interesting card here. Um, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an attack, put four damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So that's a great way to, uh, you know, um, to kind of prevent uh, knockouts from happening. Right? Is that. Uh, um, you know, if your opponent's going to try and knock it out, right, and you, they know that they can, you know, take four and then, you know, uh, respond for the, get the, you can get the responding KO back on them. So not really too good to do, to, to, um, to do that, you know, if you're the one that's attacking into this, right, but still pretty good, interesting card. And not a terrible list. Eight fire energies, so that's, that's not bad. I kind of like nine a little bit more, but not too bad at all. And they got this one's really cool. It's got one Cramorant in here uh, because of the Colrus to get that 110, right? That 110 damage into play, which is really cool. So knocks out opposing Cramorants as well. Nice. We're going to look at Naru's Charizard deck. Now this is not bad. Alright, this is not a bad one. There's a lot of a lot of tech in here. Alright, you got the standard Charizard spread here. That plays a 2-2 Pidgeot. You got Rotom V in here, which is interesting. Um, which is there for, for obvious it's instant charge. Uh, once during your turn, you may draw three cards. If you do, your turn ends. Cool. And it's got the Meteor. If this Pokemon is on your bench, when you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, you may switch it active. This attack does 20 damage for each colorless in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. Right, so I'm trying to figure out what that would be good against and I'm guessing it's probably a Snorlax counter from Snorlax stall because I think it has four retreat cost correct me if I'm wrong let's just go back quickly yeah so it's got four retreat cost right so we're gonna go back to here so when you attach a fire energy onto this and your opponent has that Snorlax it's an auto switch and then you just use gravitational tackle and smack it for 80 times 2 to the weakness for 160 to knock it out like that's a it's a good card like Meteor is a great card and the best thing about it is it's colorless attack cost, right? Lots of super rod too, which is really cool. So you can reuse it. But I think the biggest thing with this is that you're able 
to um, get, you know, it's not just hitting Snorlax for weakness. It's getting that attack off after your opponent brings something up and is trying to lock you into place, right? That's the biggest thing, right? It's basically a one-sided escape rope. Uh, seven energy. It's Like I said, it's a little bit low. It's probably the right amount, but I just like playing like nine because I just never see my energies properly. Supporters are cool, right? I really like the Avery and the Colress in here, right? Even though it's not the version like the last one I just shown. You got the usual suspects and fours, threes and twos, and then the singles, right? So that's really cool here. A lot are playing the Pidgeot V with the uh, you know the four seal stone package, right? Uh, so just so they can bring it into play and then put it back into their deck with Pidgeot V's power. This one doesn't. So that's interesting. Defiance Band. Another good card there. The extra damage one behind. And then the stadiums are really nice too. Collapse, Artisan, and Town Store to search out. That four Seal Stone and Defiance Band. One you need to. So another really good list. Lastly, Gardevoir for Harry Shellcrass. So this one here, right off the bat, it plays all four of the same roles. It doesn't do the 3-1 split. It still plays the same Gardevoir and Curlia lines. However, this one here does not play the... Zacian V, the Zacian V, or the Cresselia, right? It's all, it focuses all on Screamtail and Shining Arcana Gardevoir to get those knockouts. Okay, it also does play a third Reversal Energy. Most are playing ten and two. This one plays nine and three, so that's really interesting. Trainer cards. Uh, we got four Iano, which is really good. Two Avery, another good card. Boss and Turo, yes sir. Battle VIP and Level Ball, four and four. That's good. Ultra Ball and Fog Crystal, three and two. All right, that's all right. You can play either or. All right, you can even go three, three, three if you drop a Level Ball. Two Rare Candy, two Super Rod, two Counter Catcher, one Lost Vacuum, one Luxurious Cape, right? And then one Collapse Stadium and an Artisan. So no four Seal Stone in this package, in the Trainer package, because there's no Vs, which is interesting. So, interesting deck. It's good enough to get first. <coughs> <coughs> There you go, everybody. So now we're going to get into the Gdansk Regional in Poland. And here we have the top eight decks. So right off the bat, the most odd thing that you're going to see is this Palkia deck here that won. Or probably not one got third, so we'll get into that one when the time comes. Three Charizard, two Muse, a Lost Box, a Palkia, and a Snorlax stole that one. Crazy. Let's go to the Muse. The Double Turbo Mew. Now this here, I really like the Double Turbo Mew right now. I think it's, I think it's the better one. I think it's a lot faster, a lot more consistent. Right, and it just focuses on making sure your opponent can't really do anything. Right, that's how win get wins games. Like I six zeroed an Iron Valiant Ente deck last Thursday with Mew Genesect. It was crazy. It was literally effortless. I didn't take a single knockout. 
on any of my Mews. So, and it's just, yeah, it's just a great card. So looking through this, Pokemon Energy are, the, are, are, are good. They're the same. Trainers, lots of trainers. You got the 45 of them. Basically the most in any uh, Pokemon deck like right now. Any standard format deck. We got three Judge, two Boss, one Iono. That's standard, one Avery. Right, it's another interesting tech here. It's a great card. Four Power Tablet, four Battle VIP, Ultra Ball, Cramomatic, Lost Vacuum. Lots of fours there, which is good. Three Grabber, two Escape Rope, which is good. Uh, switch Cart, Feather Ball, Nest Ball, Pal Pad. Four Seal Stone, right? Those are all good there. You got ones and then three stones. And then you got your two box of disaster and one choice belt, right? Which, you know, I really like as well. Um, the box of disaster, right? I think you can maybe switch out. You know, you can switch one of them, right? I like playing um, Cursed Duster, but I actually found out there is a better card called uh, Spirit Mask, right? So I like doing the 1-1 one, one split there. Just me, I think they're all useful. Um, I also have a TM Devolution in my list, which, you know, is another really good card um, that could be put in here. But he did get 8th, so really good. Double Turbo Mew. Number 7. So once again, same Pokemon. And we're basically going to be seeing... A lot of the same cards in this, same quantities. This one here has a Turo scenario, which is really good. It's great against that Snorlax stall deck that they're uh, trying to, um, you know, it's it's attack against that. Right, you use your suspects here in four, and then you got uh, two escape rope, two nest ball. Most play one Nest Ball, so I think you can cut one of those. Uh, it also does play a Hisuian Heavy Ball, so I think you can cut one of those too. Right, I think you can cut that. I don't think you need that. Palpot, it does play Super Odd, which is interesting because um, he's probably thinking that uh, you know there's a lot of Avery being played right now. So Super Odd is a great way to get your Pokemon back into the deck so you can... Um, come back in the game. So that's pretty good. And then the usuals here. Three forest, a box, a choice belt, and three path. All good cards to have. The first Charizard. So this one here plays the Bibro line. It's got two different Bidoofs. The 70 versus 60. The 60 is more susceptible to Sableye. Lost Mine. The other Bidoof, the 70 HP one, is not. Right? Because you can go 60 Bidoof and 60 Charmander with Sableye 2 KOs. But you can't do that on... The 70 HP Bidoof and the 60 Charmander. Or the 70 Charmander and the 60 Bidoof, right? Delphox V here for that magical flare attack. 120, 120, so another good card. A Jet Energy, which is a nice little tech in here. Like that. Can bring that uh, Delphox V active. Arvin, right? The Arvin Zard deck. So, great card there. Search for a tool and an item card. Turo Scenario, another great card. You know, and for, uh, for Zard there to respect that Snorlax. Energy Search is interesting, right? You'd think you'd maybe want to play a, um, an Earthen Vessel, but... 
I guess you don't really have to discard a card. The two tactical machine evolution. So that's really cool, right? Two bench Pokemon for each. Search your deck for a card that evolves and evolve. So I'm not a big fan of this card right now. Just because I think there's a lot of turn two attacking. Right? So I wouldn't even be playing this card. I don't like the amount of Charmeleon here. I think it should just be a rare candy focused deck. Because you want to get that Charizard into play as soon as possible. Um, and right now, the uh, because of how many big basics there are. With Maridon, with Roaring Moon, right, etc. That your devolving TM is not really going to be um, played as much. So therefore the evolving TM shouldn't be played as much either. Counter Catcher, Escape Rope. I already mentioned the Energy Search. The Stone there, right? That's all right. The Vitality Band. So that's interesting. I'm assuming it's there for the... Um, I don't know. Probably for the Delphox V to hit those 130 marks, etc. Or the Charizard uh, EX after it's taken... Your opponent's taken like one prize. You can hit for that, uh, you know, that 210. Or if they've taken three prizes, it can, it can hit for um, that 270. So when you add the 10 from the Vitality Band to the uh, 210 or the 270, it becomes 220 and 280, which knocks out Vs and V stars. So that's really good. Just fixes the math there. Defiance Man, um, you know, adds a little bit more damage than that, which is which is really cool. Lost City, Collapse Stadium, another great, uh, great list here. All right, so this here is Tord Reklev's Lost Zone Box Deck. Just one sec, grabbing a drink. I'm also feeling a little bit chapped, so. Uh, this is probably the craziest list I've ever seen. It completely foregoes the Dragonite V and the uh, Raikou V. And instead, we put in Roaring Moon and Iron Hands, right, as the two new EX attackers. Still plays the Kyogre as the backup, but just wow. It also decreased the Psychic Energy and is not playing as many uh, Sableye as they usually do. Uh, because we want to get uh, some more. Um, we want to get those Water Energies in play so we can attack with either the Palkia here. Or the Greninja if they don't play Matafi. Big thing is with this deck is you want them to uh, to fill their bench, um, thinking that uh, you know you're not gonna uh, you know bench a Palkia right, and they don't really have to worry about mana fee and and bench spread. But then when you drop this after they've done that, they're like, oh no, oh no. Then they have to be worried, and they can't prevent it because their bench is full, right? Roaring Moon to get those auto KOs. You already mentioned Kyogre. That La Aqua Storm attack. That the end of the game attack there. Iron Hands. A lot of nice single prize Pokemon right now that this does damage over. So Ralts. Um, fr uh, Frigibax. Right? Etc. Energy is good. It matches the Pokemon. And then the trainer cards are really nice as well. Really nice. Robin Schultz. This is the true Arvinzard deck. Right? So Pokemon looks good. Right? 
Rodon V there, you know, for the extra draw. A energies. All Lost City here. Both the bands, which is really cool because there's a lot of EXs being played right now. One stone, one rod, one counter catcher, two vacuum, two level ball. Right? You got the standard four here, which is really good. Four of each of those. And it does play a Avery, which is another great card. I really like this list. I think this is one of the better lists out there for Charizard. That's really nice. I really like it. I'm probably going to build this now. <laughs> Luke Kirkham with Pelkia. And when I heard that this deck got top four, I was pretty stoked. Uh, you know, because this is an old deck of mine. I absolutely love this deck. This card here has so much power right now. Now, anybody that complains about three prizers being a problem, they obviously don't know what they're talking about, right? Because it's never a problem. You're, I'm assuming when I put up a three prizer, they are not going to be able to one-shot it. Right, so with the three prizes HP, I should be able to get three prizes as well. A two prizer and a single prizer or two two prizers, right? Or even one three prizer, right? I should be able to get three prizes at least from a three prize Pokemon like a VMAX. Right, this is one of the best cards. I really like, love this card right now. It's so strong. That Max Lance 2 for 250 that just gets recharged by Melanie. And an attachment every turn. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, now, versus... So a lot of people are going to hate on this deck. Especially you know, if they play Maridon. Maridon, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter because they're going to one-shot you and you're going to one-shot them, right? They're not going to one-shot you unless you promote the Calyrex, right? So when it comes to that game, all that really matters is the tempo. Like, is there back-and-forth action, right? I knock you out, you knock me out, etc., when there is that, right, the first person to get the KO will win the game if they don't break their stride. As soon as there's an opening for an attack between, um, you know, Palkia and Maridon, it's going to change the favor of the like winning the matchup to the other person. So that's just how it is. Um, Pelka is really good too with obviously the Chien Pao. Another great tech in here. It's got Suicune V. Haven't seen this card in a couple years. Right? All three uh, you know, dogs or beasts are being played right now. We got Suicune. We got Entei. We got Raikou. Raikou the most popular one. Greninja. Right? Great with the Palkia there. Luminion, another great card. Mew EX, the free retreater. And we got Mew here. And then Spear Tomb as well. Nine water energy, which is cool. And supporters. I like the, uh, you know, and the, pardon me, supporters and trainers. I like the all of them. Uh, except for maybe the cross switcher and the trekking shoes. I think those, you know, you could have a little bit more, um... You know, search in there, right? I'd maybe put, like, Ultra Ball up to four. You know, maybe play another stadium, right? Like Temple of Sinnoh or Lost City. Something like that. And then maybe maybe put an Iono or Research or a Turo Scenario. But, yeah, interesting list. Got third. Charizard in second place with Aaron 
All right, another Arvinzard deck. Pokemon looks pretty good. Energy as well. And the trainer cards here are really nice as well. No issues. They got the Lost City, which is really good. Um, maybe, maybe a few more Switch cards. Maybe that Turo scenario, which probably would have helped in the in the uh, Snorlax matchup, which is, you know, coincidentally what they lost to, right? And then lastly, Snorlax stall here. So it's got a Kerbominal V in there for that trigger avalanche. Discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. That's literally why it's in there, right? And here, it's got a single water energy too, right? You just want to have it camp out somewhere. Nobody attack it. And then just deal, you know, damage every single turn, right? Everything else is pretty, you know, pretty good here. Once again, I don't really play Snorlax Stull, so because I don't consider it a serious deck, or really like the Pokemon in it. But uh, yeah, there you go, everybody. So we'll just get back out of here. That is the regional in Gdansk, Poland. And uh, yeah, there you go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, you know leave a like, comment, subscribe, etc. Giveaway happening at 250 subscribers as well. And yeah, just let me know what your thoughts are, and uh, you know if there's anything that you'd like to see as well, let me know. All right. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And once again, see you in the next video.